Coach, uh, uh, non-basketball question to lead you off here, but obviously Jonathan Isaac was the only player out there to stand uh, during the national anthem, as well as not uh, uh, wear one of the Black Lives Matter warm-up shirts. Just what was your reaction to that? And I know you said that you take pride in educating players. Did you guys have any type of interaction or conversation about his decision? Uh, we did not. It was totally based on uh, us as an organization, as a team, that we were going to uh, kneel, lock arms, and uh, be united that way. Uh, and so that's the, the mission that we set out to do and uh, uh, felt go good being a part of that, being a part of the, the entire group and uh, being a, in a very empathetic moment uh, in, in our history. Alex. Jacques, I got a two-parter for you. Just what were your biggest issues with uh, you guys defensively? And then what do you think was the biggest difference with between Jared and J.A. Uh, first half to second half? Give me that second one again, Alex. Yeah, just what, what do you think was the biggest difference with Jared and Karras in the, uh, for, from the first half to the second half? Like their, their production dipped down a bit. Yeah, I think so. So the first part of that is uh, – I think we uh, showed a little bit of our lack of size in that first half, whether it was them attacking the paint, uh, offensive rebounding versus. Uh, and I talked to the team about we have to embrace kind of that suck a little bit, the, the fact that we're going to have to be extremely gritty and uh, uh, determined to put a body on somebody every single possession. And uh, the pr production-wise, uh, just their ability to try to get the ball out of Karras' hands uh, and blitz him, uh, was a big part of their game plan. Gave us more than 40 opportunities to shoot threes. Uh, so when teams do that, you have to make them pay. Greg. In that regard, uh, w about Karras, do you feel that because you're so short-handed that defenses are just going to crawl all over him and, and force somebody else to make plays? I think over the course of, uh, of a game, you, you make adjustments. And, and yes, Greg, I think uh, um, there's no, no hiding that he is the focal point of the offense. And uh, so we'll make some adjustments that way. Uh, but at the same time, Karras was extremely unselfish. And, you know, part of the game is getting advantage and keeping advantage. And if you can draw two people, we like that opportunity also. So we can use him to score for us, to uh, get opportunities for others and uh, totally believe that guys will take advantage of those opportunities and knock some shots down. Brian? Hey, Jacques. Uh, following up on that, I mean, you talked about the size. The size is going to be what it's going to be, I guess, for the most part. Does that just force you to use Dante more as you go forward? Well, I thought Dante was really good, Brian, in his minutes. Uh, uh, I asked him before he checked into the game, did he have his shirt tail tucked in? So uh, uh, just to give him a little bit of warning. Uh, you know, the big part of him going forward is just getting acclimated and, and getting his conditioning up just for, from being away from the group. Uh, we'll, again, address whether or not we have an advantage with him on the floor or not. So uh, he's definitely a piece going forward, I think, uh, as far as having minutes. But it's going to be on a game-by-game -game basis. Uh, but, again, the stress will be on our smalls coming back and helping us rebound. Tom? Jock, uh, you know, TLC was in a little bit of a shooting funk through those scrimmages. How significant to see him kind of get back going today? Yeah, that's huge for us, Tom. That's the first thing I said to the coaching group uh, after we broke the huddle is there was some good that came from this game. Uh, and so the way our group finished at the end, I give them a lot of, uh, uh, of credit to show resolve and, and a competition level. Uh, that got TLC a couple shots that he needed to go in, see go in and Hopefully, we, he can continue to make teams pay uh, going forward. Alex? Kind of piggybacking off of that, Jock, what, what did you like out of that second unit, especially, you know, you guys end the game on an 18-0 run. I think they were scoreless for, for 6.59, if I remember correctly. Just, you know, it, the game did end on a positive note a bit for you guys, given what those guys did out there. Yeah, very positive. And, and really, you have to commend that group for – uh, just playing each possession. I think uh, overall they shared the basketball. The ball went in, which, uh, which was good energy. And then uh, just being very scrappy, whether that was communicating on the other end on some of our switching, uh, whether that was coming back to rebound. And when Smalls rebound, you can get out with pace and, and start your break sooner. So 
uh, it's even more of a, a premium for us, for us to come back and rebound uh, so we can play with pace. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thanks, guys. Be well.